Kids, are they for some? Strawberries. Yeah. These are organic ones. When I buy them, I always look underneath and try to find one that doesn't have any moldy nasties in it. I see one that's not moldy, but it's like juicy. Let's call it juicy. I always check them to make sure that they're not going to go to the chickens. All right. Oh, see, we do have some. Even checking them, there was one. So you're just kind of going through the strawberries as you put them into the bowl before you start cleaning yeah, them? Yeah, on this side they looked pretty, but on that side, I wouldn't put my hand in there. So I'm going to do cold water. A quarter cup of vinegar in the large bowl that holds 10 cups of water. Okay. Two minutes. Do not listen to TikTok. It's not 10 minutes. It's two minutes. Two, two, two minutes. I leave the tops on for the first two weeks. Okay. So, um, and then we taught our littles to hold it by the green and eat the red. But if you leave the tops on, they last longer. So we do the grocery cycle every three weeks we go to the grocery store. So I don't go to the grocery store except for, like, not in that three-week period. So the first two weeks, we just have them in the jars. They're in with their stems on. And then normally at that two-week mark, I'm, like, really looking in the fridge to see what needs to be used up before we go grocery shopping because it's, like, my goal to, like, use up as much as we can before we go. And um, that's when I cut the stems off and cut it into smaller pieces. And then I normally put it in a smaller jar. This is a half gallon size, but I normally put it in this quart size if we have any left at that point. So let's start with this. This is a gallon size jar. So these are on our Amazon storefront too, these same jars that I buy all the time. But for years and years, we just choose pickle jars. Like you can go get a $4 thing of pickles and use the jar. If you're using a pickle jar and the lid smells, wash the lid of the pickle jar and put it out in the sun. I'm sure in <laughs> Texas or somewhere you'd only have to do it for a day. I will I will leave it up for a couple days and that the sun, sun yeah sun. I know sun. We won't have sun again until like next August. So <laughs> but that's the best way to get the smell out of the pickle jars for the lids because the glass won't hold any of the smell. The first two weeks that the strawberries are in the jar, I have a paper towel at the bottom. But when I cut off the stems and I cut them into smaller pieces, I take the um, paper towel out because they'll just get juicy at that point. Do you plan a different recipe with them then, Mom? Yeah, that's yeah. what I normally use. Waffles. waffles. Yeah, waffles. waffles. Yeah. We use waffles a lot. And then for some reason, if we have any left at the end, then I throw them in the freezer just like I do the spinach. So how do you keep the condensation out of the jars once they go in the fridge? So make sure they are bone dry. Like, do not put them in the jar right now. Like... We probably won't even put them in the jar tonight, like not here while everybody's here. I might just do it just to show you, but they have to be all the way, all the way, all the way dry. All the way dry. Like let them dry out for like three hours. I let them air dry, not do like a paper towel. Like, yeah, they, they have to air dry. You should see how nasty this water is, by the way. Ooh. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's not, so, I wouldn't drink that. So when people ask if I reuse the water, no. no. <laughs> when the water is that dirty, that's how I decide whether or not I'm going to rinse something. Because we're guessing there's fertilizer. Yeah, they're still, they still come from a farm. And this they come from the grocery store, they get shipped, yeah. there's all kinds of stuff. This is something interesting that we learned researching things. Normally, honestly, I don't buy strawberries in the winter time. <laughs> I normally buy all of our strawberries for the winter and the summertime and put them in the freezer. But like this time of the year, I don't normally buy berries. I normally don't start buying them again until on Valentine's Day, but we went viral on berries and I feel like I have to buy them. I do have flats and flats of berries in the freezer. So the berries that are coming right now, they only come from two places. They come from um, Southern California and Florida and their greenhouse berries until Valentine's Day and then you'll start getting sun berries again. Berries oh, ever. Is there a difference in, like, in flavor? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And we just try to buy in season. So this one's mushy a little bit, but it doesn't look bad. So I would put this like in a bowl or something so Mike would eat it at first, you know? <laughs> hey. Just because I like strawberries. <laughs> but that's what I kinda do. I kinda just set the ones out. Um, when I go to put them away, um, that need to be eaten first. I don't put them in the jar with the rest of them because one bad apple ruins a whole basket. It applies to everything. So these are going to lay out and they're going to get bone bone dry. But I'm just showing this with them wet. So don't ever put them away wet. So it's a half a day, you're saying? It's Yeah, like three hours. Like, okay. 
Go home, get home from the grocery store, make dinner, do your thing, and after the kids are in bed, then put your stuff away. When I put them in there, I actually like take a second and I lay them down in there. Don't drop them. Okay. Don't drop them in there, or you're gonna end up like just bruising them. Maybe kind of delicate with them. Yeah, and then just a little bit more. The glass jars at the dollar store are great. You can do that. You can use spaghetti jars. You can do pickle jars, whatever. Um, I'm a canner, so I would never, ever use a dollar store jar to can. I only use Ball brand um, for canning, for pressure canning. So I, I would never use like dollar store ones for pressure canning, and so then I just don't buy them. But for just in your fridge for storage, yeah. Like anything that's glass and airtight, um, the more plastic that you can get out of your fridge, the better. Do not put them away wet, but I just lay them in there like this. These are wet. This is not what you do, but just lay them in and just gently put them in the rest of the way. If there's any that just need to be eaten a little bit faster, just put them separately in a bowl. And we're so pretending those are dry, but even with the dry ones, do we put a paper towel on the bottom or no? Yes. 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 Okay. Because they'll keep releasing moisture. Moisture. Okay. And so, yeah, for over like the next week, they'll keep releasing moisture. If they were all the way dry when you put them in and they're still wet the next day and there's a lot of condensation, uh, well, if there's a little bit of condensation, then I will just take the lid off in the fridge and I, I will set the lid like next to it in the fridge so I don't forget it, but um, to put it back on mm -hmm. and it'll just evaporate out. Um, if you know that you were in a rush and you didn't do it correctly and they are wet, then you can take them back out and put them back on a towel, towel again, put a new paper towel in and wipe the jar out. So if they weren't bone dry to begin with, if they were bone dry, then you shouldn't have to worry about it. It's just a little bit of condensation, just taking the lid off should help. And after that first day or two, it should be good. So then if there's a little bit of condensation, it's okay. And then they should last like the two to three weeks. But that's something um, for the winter berries you have to really think about. They last two to three weeks from when they were picked. We got fresh raspberries that were delivered today, you know, and which is great, but they were like sitting at the store for a week or on a truck for a week. We don't know that. So um, my strawberries were lasting 45 days this summer, but I was getting them from the farm that morning. So just kind of, you know, it's winter time, it's winter time in most places, so just think about that. But they should last at least two weeks. There shouldn't be any mold unless, they're, if they're dry, so. Um, yeah. As far as strawberries go, we'd like to eat the, the like the bright red ones yeah. first, mm -hmm. and then the less red ones right, right, afterwards, right. that makes sense? Yeah, okay. yeah, because they're the ones that are gonna go bad the quickest. 